Hello everybody, this is Reed Thompson here with the Startup Bros and e-commerce Empire. Today what we're going to do is go through an introduction of the Amazon Seller Central dashboard and the different components and how to actually manage your account. So where we're at now, you have a basic understanding of arbitrage and you've opened your Amazon Seller Central store. So in this lesson, we're going to cover the, Al the Amazon Seller Central dashboard, cover the inventory tab of how to add products, all of the information about your products, where to edit them. This is all done through your inventory. Pricing, the different aspects of pricing within the Amazon Seller Central dashboard. Where to look at your orders, both pending and orders that have gone through. We'll show you the different advertising options and briefly touch on the different options you have. We'll take a look at some of the reports and the different ports you can pull to see how you can better effectively manage your account. And we'll see where your performance shows up so you have good standing with Amazon. And I'll also show you how to get support from Amazon and open a different case to have Amazon accomplish different tasks for you. So what we'll do now is we'll log into your Amazon Seller Central account and go right to the dashboard. Once you've logged into your account, this is what the Amazon Seller Central dashboard looks like. This gives you all of the metrics you'll need at a flash and different navigation bars to bring you where you want to go. So just at a glimpse here at the Amazon Seller Central dashboard, these are called different widgets. These can be adjusted to change how you want you can change you know, different widgets to display information that you find most helpful. So here you'll find your orders. They tell you the pending orders, unshipped orders. They'll break it out between seller fulfilled and fulfilled by Amazon. Right here in the middle is the Amazon Selling Coach. This gives you different ideas on, on how to sell better, um, different pricing alerts, different opportunities and different ways to sell your product. Take a look at this to see if it applies to any of your business. On the right hand side here is the payment summary. What this does is tell you your most recent payment of how much money that Amazon has sent to you and the date as much as your current balance of what how much money you've currently made that Amazon hasn't uh, sent to you yet. Uh, the next portion here is the manager case log. If you have any open cases with Amazon, uh, click the view your case log and that'll bring you to the open cases. The next one here is the sales summary. Uh, they break up the different sales from today, 7 days ago, 15 days ago, and 30 days ago. If you click, if you click any of these further details, it tells you more about the information. The next thing to look at is your performance. So these tell you the different buyer messages, A to Z claims, and chargeback claims brought against your account. Uh, always monitor the buyer messages because you want to keep your target under 24 hours of response. And here's where your customer feedback is. So remember, customer feedback is customers giving you feedback on how your selling performance is. These right here are different than product reviews. Even more below, seller forums. You can view all of the different forums of the different chat options for people on the Amazon platform. You can also look there if you have any technical issues. Uh, if you search there, you can often find threads of different issues that, that sellers are having. Here's a notifications bar. They'll tell you if there's any specific issues, whether they're not updating uh, product data, uh, orders are not coming through, any sort of technical issues that Amazon is experiencing, they'll display right there. Selling tools, they'll tell you different options that you have to manage your account. So from a glance, these are all of the, the widgets that you have on your Seller Central dashboard. These tabs right here show you the different uh, options you have for how to manage your account. So under the inventory tab, if you just hover it over, 
You can go to your Manage Inventory, which will bring up a list of your inventory. Same thing for just your FBA inventory. You can add a product. You can add a product via upload. And you can go to Manage Your FBA Shipments to look at your shipments you have sending to FBA. Right here is your pricing. So this is a new tab that Amazon has offered. Uh, it's Automate Pricing. So you can create different rules for, for changing your prices. Here in your orders, this is where you can identify the orders that have come in. You can also dig in and find pending orders where orders have come in, but Amazon is yet to ship them out. Advertising, under Campaign Manager, this is where you can manage your Amazon sponsored products. Under Lightning Deals, Lightning Deals offer a percentage off to the final customer, but then you get featured in the Lightning Deals section on Amazon.com. Promotions is where you can offer discounts on your product, you know, whether it's couponing, a percentage off, a buy one, get one option. But under this tab is where all of the advertising goes. For reports, you can pull different reports to better manage your, your account and have a better understanding of what's going on. Your performance, if you click on your account health, you can see at a glance how your store is performing and whether you have a good standing with Amazon. It'll show all the feedback that customers have provided for you as a seller. Uh, the A to Z guarantee claims, the chargeback claims against returns against your, your account. Seller University is where you can learn uh, more on how to manage your account and notifications will tell you different things about your account. Other important places to notice, this help icon will, will bring up any quick answers so you can search if you have any particular questions right here. This will bring up and hopefully answer any of your exact questions you have on the site. Under settings, this is where you can log out, pull up your account info, show different email preferences you want, show different login settings, uh, your options for gift wrapping, shipping settings, if you have tax settings. User permissions here is where you can add different workers for your account. So say different people have uh, association with a single account. You can grant user permissions for all of your different employees or virtual assistants. And these other ones identify different policies about Amazon. Most people will be just selling on the U.S. account, but if you click here, you can go to your Canadian selling account as well. So that's a brief overview of the Seller Central dashboard as a whole.